Welcome back to the Compound Podcast. It's episode <laughs> 80, 85. Keep that in. No, no, no. That stays. That stays. We do not cut that. We well, roll hey, with it. You what roll was with worse, it. What was worse, that or Stafford's throw just now? Stafford's throw is pretty bad, but podcast. Why don't, you guys, why don't you guys stop watching football? Lock in on this first ever video recorded podcast. I believe it is it 85? It's scared of the camera. It is 85. And it is, it is 85. Ever video episode. episode 85. Zach hey, you know who we're presented by? Presented by Parse Rum. I have a uh, right nice job, Dakota. We're not supposed to talk over each other in this episode because Tom can't edit it out because we're on video. But Zach doesn't have a microphone and his sound's going to sound horrible. Zach, would you like to explain why you don't have a microphone? Yeah, it didn't make the trip with me um, to my off season. Because home. you don't care about this podcast. No, I just was not told that I sound like crud. So if I, if you guys told me I sounded like crud, I would have switched it. You do sound like crud. It's just a big ball of crud, man. I, it, it honestly is a big crud of an excuse as well because it's just sad. It's sad. Did you put those headphones on to try to be a little swaggy because you knew you were on video this time? I wore them the last like three times you've recorded. I don't know about that one, Jim. Check the tape. Check the tape. I don't know. Can we start by talking about award season uh the award season that just is kind of whoop here you go like here's two one like i had no idea rookies of the year came out today i just saw it on twitter i that's how i saw gold gloves was on twitter did they actually mm-hmm. announce the gold gloves on like a thing or was it like twitter i i legitimately have no idea i only see it on twitter i believe all the awards are being announced on uh, mlb network but I'm not 100% sure about the Golden Gloves. The Golden Gloves, excuse me. Can I ask a question about other sports? How do other sports do this? I feel like for the NBA, at least, don't they have like a show, Zach? I feel uh, like they do. I, I, know, I know for sure. a fact I've seen on ESPN, like Giannis, when he won MVP, he was like on ESPN doing an interview with his whole team behind him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they had it. I don't know if they had it on MLB Network. Um, I just saw a clip of India winning his, um, but it was on Zoom. It was on Zoom, so I'm India not sure. Was, India was an absolute lock, by the way. Yeah, I saw Three the years. results. The results, he, he was like 99% of everybody's yeah. first ballot or whatever it's called, first vote. He deserved it. Who, oh, won, yeah. in the, who won in the AO? Um, Rosa Arena. Which is wild that he's wild. still a rookie because he had an unbelievable postseason last year. Who else was up for it in the AL even? Well, Zach Short, which yep. who I voted, yep. I voted for him. Yeah, uh, I'm um, kind of preposterous to how I didn't win, but BS um, man, absolutely yeah. BS. No, you know it's much crud, is what it is. It's not even BS. Um, it's crud. It's a load of crud. Do you think um, that they should change the rookie threshold for how many at bats you have to get? I didn't. Uh, I don't know what is the threshold. I believe it's something like 150. Tom? Gotcha. Uh, I think you're right. I think it's 145, 150. The nominees, by the way, were Wander Franco and Luis Garcia. Uh, were the other two, along with Randy Rosarena. I mean, is that good that you have two rookies on the same team up for Rookie of the Year? Didn't people think, think Franco was going to win it? I don't, I'm not sure what each, like all those player stats were, but wasn't like Franco considered likely to get it or no? I think his, I think he was probably the biggest prospect, and his on base was pretty impressive. He had that, he had that amazing streak, right? Yeah, yeah. Rosa Reina received uh, most of the first place votes, twenty-two, I believe, of the forty. Uh, no one else got more than three. But it was pretty question. spread out. Do you think that his postseason last year helped his rookie of the year case this year? Uh, I don't think so. I don't. Uh, good. No. Neither. I mean, he. I saw his stats. He hit like 290 and had 20 and twenty homers, 20 stolen bases. Yeah, he right. Yeah. You know, he had a great year. Yeah. I th- yeah. I think that was a dumb question. <laughs> no dumb questions. It's not very nice. <laughs> it's not very um, nice when you're on this pot's casks. Did we – I don't think we talked about it last week, the gold gloves. Did we talk about the gold gloves last week? No. I, I, no, I don't even. The Cardinals I, had. I don't even know who won it. No one told me. Cardinals had five gold gloves. Five. Five. One team. Five. And did did we talk about Schilt too? Speaking of the Cardinals, how he was up for Manager of the Year but was fired. 
That's that was mean. didn't that happen like in the NFL or something? Like someone won coach of the year and got fired the same or something like that. Like Dwayne maybe it was maybe it was in bait. What was it? It was Dwayne Casey in the NBA with the Raptors. That's yeah, what it yes, was. He won coach right. of the year and got fired yes, the same year. Yes, yes. It's like kind of all right, you're gonna win MVP, but we're gonna release you. I mean, I'm pretty I'm sure sorry, I don't think they've announced it yet, but <laughs> Kapler's gonna win manager of the year in the NL, right? With the Giants, like he has to has to, has to, has to. But I mean, either to. way. If you're up for the award and you get fired in the same year, like something went wrong there. You know yeah. what else is what else is crazy is Kapler just got fired from Philly. Yeah. Uh, but his was different because he isn't he kind of like out there? Like his like uh his tactics are like kind of like different from everybody else's. Yeah, I think I think he was uh he was I mean he's very he wasn't far removed from playing, right? I mean, he was. Thank you, young. Yeah, I don't know much about his actual like managerial style, but he was not far removed from from playing, and he is still ripped. He could definitely get out. He there. could still go out there and get you a base. Like if it came down to it, it's the fourteenth inning, you put a uni on him, he might get you a hit. He's doing it. Yeah, I did see something from uh, one of the writers on Twitter, and I can't remember who it was, and he said he put out there the average lifespan for a hitting coach right now one and a half years seasons yeah yeah tough gig where did uh val go again cleveland the oh, guardian that's really sick chris Vallega, sick. head hitting coach i don't even know what the titles are anymore uh for the major league cleveland guardians which is very exciting he was our assistant this year he's fantastic he was a uh, hitting coordinator with the cubbies he was the high A hitting coach when me and Zach played in Myrtle in 17. No, he was in, no, he was in triple A. Who am I thinking of in Myrtle? I was in was, um, yeah. Um, high A, high A was, high A was Guillermo too. Yeah. Val was in Iowa. That's right. But he, was, he was like the assistant hitting coach. He in wasn't AAA. in Iowa in 17. I was there. No, in 19. There. In 19, he 19, was, er, he was a coordinator. 18, he was in Iowa. He was the assistant to Desi. And then 19, and then 19 he was the coordinator. The coordinator. Yep. Yep. It The churn of hitting coaches is crazy. It's crazy. Because dudes like Val, it's a great example. Like, you're in the minor leagues, and then you come up, and you get a, a gig, and then you end up, you know, two years later as a head hitting coach somewhere. Like, Andy Haynes, kind of the same thing, where he was he was our coordinator, and then he was the assistant with the Cubbies. And then he ended up going to the Brewers, and he just got fired uh, after they win however many games. It's just it's tough gig. You get blamed for a lot, and you can't really control any of it. Can't. It's up to us. Envy that spot. It's up to us. It's literally all out of your control. Zach. I get. I guess that's like every coaching gig, but. But like, how do you evaluate? I don't understand. I just don't get how they're evaluating hitting coaches. Like, how are you like? How are you making the determination? Well, you're bad. You're not what we need. Fired. Zach. What's up, buddy? Why didn't you tweet out or put on your Instagram story a welcome to Eduardo? Yeah, that's a good point. Um, I was driving when it came out today. I was listening to the radio. Um, I went on the way to work out, and I just completely forgot. But that dude was nasty in 19. I needed you to tweet out. Like, welcome to the D. Let's get to work. Yeah. So, uh, I'm uh, a grind. I would have puked uh, if you would have done that, but it would have been funny. Do you uh, think that he's going to think you're a terrible teammate now for not tweeting about his arrival? Yes. No, I don't think that he has any clue who I am or if I exist. <laughs> have you faced him? Yes, I faced him twice this year. How'd you do? I walked twice. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Come yep. on, man. He's scared. Um, he's scared. He's scared. Oh my God. He's terrified. That's why you got to tweet out a welcome because he's like, oh man, this guy's got my number. That's why I signed I with think, you guys. So he wouldn't have I think anymore. I'm pretty sure I walked twice. That's why I signed with you. He didn't want to face you. Makes sense. Zach, did you um, take my advice and text Tucker? Barnhart? Who's Tucker? What's happening? Barnhart? Tucker Barnhart, oh. new catcher for the Detroit Tigers. What is Zach doing right now? Hang on. 
We're in the middle of a podcast. You're sitting here looking up highlights of you're at bat against Eduardo. No, I think I just got to – no, I got kicked off of – Of what? What's going on? I I got a call from my bench coach. He was checking in, and it went to my headphones and got taken off of the Zoom. What's he checking in for? Eight thirty on a Monday night. I don't know. I couldn't hear the rest of it because I freaked out and panicked. Getting calls from the bench coach. What a Who's guy? the Tigers bench coach? George Lombard. Maybe he's calling you to say, "Why the fuck didn't you tweet about your new teammate?" <laughs> He might be. He's pissed. Do you need to take a you need to take a minute to call your uh bench coach? Uh, um no, I can probably call him in a bit. I'm gonna shoot him a text and say, Hey, I'm doing an, I'm gonna say the boys are recording, I'll give you a call in about thirty minutes. Let him know. <laughs> Let him know. Hey, you're it's on he's on your time. He's on yeah. your time. I mean you're the talent. George, come on, you know it's Monday night. Yeah. That is a weird time to call. Like I actually just <laughs> But you know what's a weird thing is I all, I just spoke with the Cubs new hitting coach about an hour ago. Maybe the Monday nights are the times that coaches are calling the players. Why yeah. didn't he call me to check in? Good question. New assistant well, that's because I'm coach. a pitcher, or else he would have. New well, assistant saw- pitching coach is going to call you soon. Yeah, I'm sure he is. I'm sure he's, he's dying to call me. <laughs> the, I did uh, see that they signed an assistant pitching coach, which I've never heard of that before. I was going to say. From the Yankees, that, huh? I don't know. I didn't know who it was. Is is that an is that like a new role or is that the bullpen is that a bullpen coach thing is that a, just an as under the I don't know how it's gonna work everybody just keeps making up titles for people and you just don't exactly know what's gonna happen but I feel like nowadays they just kind of throw a title on someone and it's like ah they and then you see you, know. you see where they fit in yeah. yeah well it's like the quality assurance coach it's like what what does that person do yeah no one really knows. You gotta just assure the quality. Got a few different. If you had a few different quality assurance coaches, and they all have played very different roles. Yes, it's a really Napoli. umbrella position. Napoli's still there, right? Yeah, Nap's still there. I don't know exactly where everybody's gonna fill in. Like as far as what role, I'm sure that'll be announced at some point. <laughs> I'm really flustered by that phone yeah, call. Yeah, uh, no, I am. Uh... I was asking you too about your new teammate Tucker Barnhart when you got that call. Yeah, that was that was awesome too. He did you te- did you text him? Gloves. No, I didn't. God, <laughs> you could have been so pro. Ian, you I'm can not still a do it. I'm not a regular, dude. What? But then when you get to spring training, he'll be like, "Oh, that dude texted me. Like, that's a that's or, a pro move." Or I bring up your name in spring training. But hey. Ian's got well, nothing. I mean, but we great just played things. played against each other. He's not like doesn't like know me that well. How'd you get his number then? Uh, yeah, what? That, this because is making both, it even weirder. We're both, uh, we're both PA reps, so we have each other's numbers. Nice, yeah. nice. I mean, I will side with Zach in that. Yeah, dude, what? It'd be a little like weird for him to games. send it. He'd probably say, he'd probably respond, "Who is this?" <laughs> Sorry, go ahead, Zach. Continue. I I played in sixty games and hit under one hundred and fifty. You think if he cares if I reach out to him or not? Do we find out if you're still a rookie next year or not? No, I'm not. It's it's fucking crud because that means I'm off the rookie of the year ballot already. Randy Rosarena was still a rookie and you weren't. Bunch of crud, man. Bunch Josh Josh Bell crud. did that in uh, in 17. Josh Bell had a few at bats in 16, and then just was the best player ever in 17, and he still had his rookie status. What place we... didn't? Go ahead, continue. Didn't you place in something in rookie of the year votes your rookie year? Fourth. Yeah, I think it was like eighth. Eighth. Oh, you stink. Can't wait to go Devin Williams on everybody asses next year and win it. Boy. Yeah. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> I love that. Um, where where are you guys with your off season uh workouts? Do you not see how tight this sweatshirt is fitting on me? <laughs> what size uh small? All right. I'm still not throwing yet. So just working out right now because my shoulder is still fucked. That's good. That's good. I, uh, good update. Yeah. So just there you, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> I've been lifting every day and hitting a few times a week, trying to dial this swing back in. 
By the way, Zach, you didn't give yourself credit. You did play 61 games, the majors. 61, sorry. Thank so you. you said under 60. Yeah, thank you. Zach. Zach, also. Ian, Ian, no, 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 Ian, I am not going to listen to you right now. I'm not. So save it. Don't even – let's move on to the next topic because whatever you're going to say, it's going to make me mad, and I'm not I'm not here for it right now. I had a good day. I Go, really Ian. No, I want to hear it. I want to hear it. How's your swing feeling? Feel good? Yeah, it's great. Next. Next topic. Good. Ian's probably mad you're already swinging. That's exactly why he's yeah, mad, and he doesn't know that I hit 140 this year. Well, he knows. He I did that because you say that you no. say you say it quite a bit. We all know. Every well, time, I, hey, every time baseball gets brought up, you go, "Well, I mean, who the hell am I? I hit 140." Like I hear it all the time. Who cares? Well, it's in the past, man. Past in the past. Well, I know you know because you're a good friend and you answer text. But as we've shown before, about 10, 15 minutes ago, Ian has neglected to answer another one of my texts. So do I know if he knows what I did this year? No, I, I have no idea. I What I was going to say was <laughs> that I, I did that in 18 going into 19. I hit two whatever and hit. Two, no, two, whatever. No homers. I didn't hit any homers. Like. Any, that was all of my numbers were down, and then I went and I got after it in the cage, and then I stunk. Yeah, but like, you didn't try to redo your swing or figure something. I am like, that swing's gone, gone, brother. Yeah, like chalk it up, roll, it, put throw in the garbage, recycling. Bin, roll it up. What? Do. Whoa. Have you been? Have you been uh, talking to Donaldson? No, I haven't. Shooting him no. a couple messages back and forth, maybe. Hey, Josh, no. look at that. How's the swing look? I, I have, I have bugged him enough the last few months. He, he probably thought he was, you. he was probably th- thought he was done with me when I asked him for a bat. He was like, Jesus Christ, about time this guy can stop talking to me. <laughs> Little does he know, he he follows me on Twitter and he's gonna get a DM about ten minutes after asking if he can come onto a podcast and speak hitting for two hours. That was the best part is he literally followed you and 10 minutes later, it's like, hey, man, come on our podcast. <laughs> and he said, absolutely. And he was in on it. Yeah. I mean, it, it wasn't it wasn't I, a problem. It was just funny. I thanked him. I messaged him again after he came on. And I thanked him. I was like, hey, man, like, I'm sorry it took so long. Like, we were just so in on it. He's like, bro, like, that was great. I would do it again. I said, all right, see you next week, Monday. I'll hold you to it. <laughs> now you're screwed because now you're locked in. <laughs> all I can think about is – is Donaldson seeing that follow and then immediately getting a, a message. And he still came on the podcast, so he must like you. He still came on. Either that or he's a, super bored. I was fluffing him up on second. I was like, damn, man, like, this thing looks good right now, you know? I mean, like we've said, everybody needs a fluff. Everybody needs a fluff. doesn't matter who you are. Doesn't need a fluff. Everybody's, grinding. everybody's exactly. grinding. Everybody's grinding. doesn't matter who you are. doesn't matter where you're at. Everybody's grinding. You know what I want you to try, Zach, and you never will. I want you to try the just the the panic hit. Like you don't hit until January, and you're just like, oh shit, I got to figure it out. And then you just get in there, you just swing a bunch. Like just panic. Like wait as long as like go in. Ian takes a little while. Like he, you start hitting in January, don't you, Ian? I think that would be. I think that would honestly be worse for me though, because as we've seen, I always have a hit for eight hours a day. Yeah, and I would have to be like, oh, I didn't hit in November and December, so that means I have to make up for all that lost time. Yeah, but you would completely forget how to swing, and then you would, if you really wanted to tear hey, it down, like you hey, would, you'd be building from nothing at that point. Hey, hey, I forgot how to swing this year. <laughs> I tried that one. I'll it didn't you, work. I'll that you. is true. That is true. Yeah, we've seen. I was actually looking at your swing the other day. Oh, I still have it on my phone. Mine. Huh? Yeah. Hey, I, I don't go down looking, I'll tell you that much. No, you can't. Can you guys uh tell me who's gonna win MVP? Who's up? For, oh, Shohai's gonna win it in the AL. Yeah, I don't think it's close. NL is NL's tough though, because it's it Soto, Tatis, Harper, Soto and Tatis. And Harper? Yeah. So it's three non playoff teams. So it's literally just if I had a vote, I think I would vote Juan Soto. I said this after I played against Harper. It was the best. It was the most dominant, like, locked-in player I've ever seen for a stretch. And he's – what he did was very, very impressive. And what is he, 15? He just got his driver's license and he's doing this? (laughs) 
it's so weird to me though that in like that it shouldn't take away from their season but like if you don't make the playoffs like I feel like it's hard and I know MVP's most valuable player not like best player on the best team but it's like if your team didn't win enough to go to the playoffs like did you do that good like I know baseball is a very big like team sport not individual sport but it's that's weird to me to have three guys that none of their teams made the playoff. Would you then say that Mike Trout doesn't deserve his MVPs? Well, Mike Ooh. Trout, but none of those guys had the stats. I have no idea if that's true or not, so I'm not going to make that statement. I was going to say they don't have the stats Mike Trout has had. I have no idea. That could be wrong, and I'd get shit on for it, so I take that back. That's what, that's what we like to call a business decision right there. You're probably right with that, but it's just weird to me because – like if you're, t- I mean, that's the same thing. I guess I'm saying Shohei should win, and they they didn't make the playoffs. But it's just weird, like that. Two the MVPs are going to be from non playoff teams. Yes, and it, I think this year feels like very much of a toss up. I think this year feels like all three guys had very good seasons, very similar. Like some got one more homers, more uh, higher average on base, the whole thing. Everybody, uh. You could, I think you can make a pretty good argument for each of the three teams. Zach, yeah. if you keep making faces at this football game, who is who's even playing? Stafford's playing? fucking horrible. <laughs> I don't know what's, what he's doing. Who's playing football right now? It's the Rams versus the Niners. Stafford might. Oh, no, that's on Higby. That's not on yeah, Stafford. Yeah, that's on Higby, yeah. I have an idea. I agree, I agree, though, Ian. That's a great point. Yeah, I have an idea. Maybe we should start a uh, – or you guys – and maybe I'll come on once a month, a compound football podcast. Yeah, you I don't know, know if we'd ever let you on. on. I don't know if we'd let you on. You don't watch it enough. I'm actually, I come on uh, once a month. I'm actually not a football fan anymore. I don't know if you guys know. I'm uh, I'm hanging them up. Oh, football. because the Jets are so bad. Hey, yeah. hey, Lions didn't lose. Didn't lose. They tied. I know Ian doesn't know that they tied probably, so that's why I had to tell him. But, no, he does because they played the Steelers, so he likes them this week. Was that the one where the guy fumbled right at the end? Yeah. Pat Fryermuth. Could they have kicked a field goal there or no? If he would have, they would have had a field goal attempt if he would have caught it and got out of bounds. Even if he dropped it, they would have had a field goal attempt. They're at like 38 or something, but the Steelers would have. Yeah. Ah, Tough. No, the Lions were never going to win that game, but they. Tough game. Tough game. Yeah. I think most most of my teams did good. The Bearcats are still undefeated. I don't know if you guys knew that about the Bearcats. They played a good game and they're still undefeated. Real quick. SMU coming up. Zach will, Zach will know because he follows it a little more. The fact, and it doesn't matter because it'll play itself out, but the fact that Michigan State and Michigan have the same exact record and Michigan State beat Michigan head-to-head, but yet Michigan is ranked higher than Michigan State. That, that in my brain, that'll never make sense to me. I don't really understand it, to be honest. Like you have the same record, same head record, to head, and you beat them. Michigan yeah. State won, but yeah. it doesn't matter because they both start to play Ohio State, so it's fine. But I'm just saying, like, that doesn't compute it's to me. Sending, it's sending a bad message. I mean, yeah, it's and the thing is, like, even for Cincy, Ian, they could win out, and if Michigan, like, they could still, like, they could get to the top four and then still get jumped without losing. Like, the committee doesn't want to put them in. They don't, don't. It's very obvious that committee does not want to put them in, which, like, I don't know. If you win all your games, I just feel like if you win all your games. I was actually just going to say how people make that argument. I think that's the worst argument of all time because, I mean, I get it's not your fault. Like, that's who you play, but, I mean, play better teams. Like, I don't know. It's like schedule non-conference games against Bama if you want to prove you're that good. What do you, what do you, big – Big Ten guy. Big Ten guy. Got a lot I, of, I top, just, got a lot of top 25 no, teams. You'll never convince me that Cincy is better than Michigan, Michigan State, Ohio State, or like they're just not better than those teams. Do you think there should be an eight-team playoff? Eight? Yes, team? 100%. Open it I up. Because if you get to eight, then you have the non-Power 5 conference teams having a chance to get in there at least. Like, Cincy would make it in an eight-team. I don't think they'll make it in a four unless like I, shit hits the fan. I agree. They need to expand it. Like, why not? Do you, I, do you hate I money? I totally agree. I totally agree. If you make it eight teams, I think that's plenty. Like, do, I think do eight they... teams is plenty. 
And then you have to because win three games. Yeah, but like there, there really is such a big difference between whoever's number one in college football and even the tenth best team in college football. I, but like, even I the think fifth best. Team. That's what that right. That's what I'm saying. So like, but I think just to give teams like Cincinnati a say or a chance, I think eight is should be the limit. And that's why, like, we made the point of there's a big disparity between one and five. Even like Georgia's one, since he's five, since he is nowhere near Georgia. But it's like, and it's not like baseball where anyone could win. But I mean, at the same time, you can't tell me that it's impossible for Cincy to beat Georgia. Like, why not have those games and possibly yeah. have a sick upset? And like, like what's said, it hurting Cincy, to play extra games? Since like he played said, Georgia last year in the Peach Bowl and only lost by a field goal, they could, they should have won it. Ian, Basically the Ian, same teams. You know what I say to that one, Ian? Impressed you know that two. I was going to say still wait, lost. Wait. Ian, are you on like football, college football reference right now, looking at Cincinnati's <laughs> past records? What the listen, fuck is listen. going on? Ian's just a big football, football guy. guy. Me, football I, guy. I was leaving the house this morning. And my dad was like, "Oh, Cincinnati's number three. Ian's a big Cincinnati guy, isn't he?" And I was like, "Yeah, the biggest, big Cincinnati guy. Me, big Cincinnati yeah, guy. Huge. What? Uh, have you guys been watching the basketball at all? Yeah, the basketball. The Bulls. No, I've I've been the Bulls are doing the- some basketball. I've been watching the basketball on the TikTok too. Yeah. What? Anything to say about the Bulls and their TikTok performance? No. <laughs> basketball I performance? Haven't... TikTok performance that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. What is that talking about? Well, remember Ian last week was saying the TikTok. Uh, TikTok. Oh yeah. And he I just said, "I've been watching the basketball." Made it sound like he was eighty-five years old. Right. I saw it on the TikTok. Nothing to say about basketball, Zach. I actually have. I haven't been paying too much attention. Um, I've been more locked into Duke basketball um i know that kevin duran is having statistically one of the greatest seasons like on with field goals and misses and makes it's been ridiculous but steph curry is also showing why he's the best shooter to ever touch a basketball and it's not even remotely close he's the best shooter but kevin durant's the best scorer of all time yes yes and i will i will die on that hill did you see that picture of steph curry the one that's i i think i actually retweeted it it was him when he shot the three and he looked away before. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And was it was sick. just like the sick, like that happens a good amount of time, but I don't know what they did to that picture, but my God, that is sick. I will say I, the, the fake foul calls that are non-existent now. I think it's are, so much they, better it's for basketball. so much better. Even watching the Nets, like James Harden goes to the line like five times a game opposed to 50. Can you explain that to me as somebody who has no idea what you're talking about with the basketball thing? You used to be able to like initiate contact on offense. Like say you do a pump fake, they would jump towards you. You would then shoot it and like lean into them and like fall over and they'd give you the foul. And now they don't let any of that go on. Like you can't initiate the contact on offense. Or if you're like playing defense against somebody, you have your hand out, like they would do like a scoop up and in. And it's just like, obviously I'm not fouling you. I'm playing defense. That was the dumbest. That was like the Chris Paul one. And right. And James Harden made a living. Uh, they He'd be driving and all of a sudden he would just be like, oh, yeah, that's you hit me on the arm. And they would just be like, I didn't do anything. They basically I do remember him so shooting you... an excessive amount of free throws. Go ahead. They I just, just remember they... him sh- having a lot of free throws. Do you want to talk at the same saying... time again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. I was just saying they made it so you actually have to score the basketball versus, oh, like, how can I get to the foul line for free? Instead, it's like, oh, okay, now let's actually get an open shot. What other baseball things would you guys like to talk about before we go, before we do screen times, before we go? Uh, you guys could talk about how the Cubs' official Instagram wants Frank the Tank to be a guest. We got a lot of comments on social media. We do. We do. We saw that. Uh, yeah. Um, the Cubs – Asked Frank the Tank a question about why he hadn't been on the compound yet. It's kind of messed up. A little messed up. Oh, it was. I think it was uh, like a was sent a, in question. Was, I think it was a fan. Yeah. Yeah. They were doing like they a fan Q and A question. Yeah, they didn't have to give him the question. You know. <laughs> True. <laughs> Making us look bad. Um, oh, no, if anything, it's given us. That's. Hey, good press. It's good positivity. Press. We positivity. could ask him if he remembers Zach from uh, the. He does because we talked about golf. Oh God. Hey, hey, Ian, yell at him. Yeah, lock yell it in. Him. We're gonna. I was so, saying, oh God, to your comment about you and Frank being friends. Yep, we are. We're gonna get Frank the Tank on, um, soon. 
Yes. We're going to have to look at the schedule around Thanksgiving and see what our, what our plans are. Where are you going for Thanksgiving, Ian? I'll be in Austin, Texas. Nice. You don't want to go home and see your mother? Oh, my mother's coming here. I'm hosting. Oh, her. nice. Yeah. Yep. Sick. Interesting. Going to be great. Going to be a great time. Really excited for it. I was trying to figure out, was, has, was he a teammate with Dakota as well? Because I knew he and Zach lined up, but he was an iCub for like a week, right? He was an iCub for about two weeks. And, uh, yeah, I talked to him, I think, twice because he was very quiet and he had just gotten traded to us or claim we just claimed him and it was just like he didn't know any of us and none of us knew him so that and i said like what's up to him and before i knew it he was in the big league so i was like okay hope he has a good one <laughs> and then he was hitting 400 and then he was the best player in baseball uh zach did you forget we were on video and then call the reception i, I was actually talking to my uh roommate here um jason who's begging Foley, to come he- on yeah, he is also begging to come on. He is a pitcher on the Detroit Tigers, and we were roommates in college. We were good friends. So, yeah, he's um he's been begging me to come on, and I've kind of, you know, just said, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get Zach texted me about it, Ian, and I said, you got to talk to the boss. I said, that's not up to me. But, like, again, what's the point of me texting him? That's true. You wouldn't get a response, but. Did you also tell him that you've been lobbying for Rex Grossman, but then you never brought him on? Not Rex. I don't know Rex. I know Robbie Grossman. Robbie um, Grossman. I yeah. got Rex. I did a Rex Brothers yeah, yeah. and a Robbie Grossman there, and I put them together. I, I texted Robbie last week, and he said he'd come on, but you told me to wait. I didn't say wait. Yeah, you did. When? You probably didn't because you didn't answer me, but <laughs> Dakota. Uh, I, would like, I would like any and all guests, including Frank the Tank. We've had we've had a really nice little run there with with uh, Donaldson and Plouffe. I said, want me to ask Robbie, Dakota? I think we can just wrap it up the MLB season today. Get a guest for next week. Sounds good. Ian agreed. Tom is working on Plouffe too. And then we got Plouffe. And then I didn't hear anything about it. So should I should I pencil uh, Rex next week? <laughs> yeah. So what? <laughs> So yep. pencil Rex Rex in for next week. <laughs> oh god. This is a great first video episode. This is all gonna be on the YouTube. On the YouTube and the TikTok and the uh, Instagram. Boy. Um let's do screen time. Let's talk about Parse Rum. Dakota, tell me something about Parse Rum. I just took a nice little gulp of it and it's delicious, I'll tell you what. I four something's... hours and fifty one minutes. Something's wrong with my phone. Oh my god, dude! Ah, shit. What's your time? I just told you four fifty-one. Five twenty. Five twenty-one. Six forty for me. I don't know what. Let's I go. Was doing Come I on, Zach. Was doing and today. he's an hour behind. Oh, <sighs> true. People forget. People tend People to forget, forget that. Forget, you know what? Oh, you know what it was. Don't. You know what it was. It was last night. I got home from Arizona last night, and it was so there was some time because I had a late flight. So we're gonna blame it on that. Wasn't my fault. Whatever happened? Hey, to no excuses. I was like, hey man, whatever, whatever you need to help you sleep tonight. Yeah, tough. Really Ooh. tough. Anything else you guys would like to say to the people before we go? Get ready for Rex Grossman. When I say parse, you say parse. Rum, rum. rum. Parse. You say when rum. I say parse, you say parse. So I said parse. <laughs> you went. Uh, go to Benny's. There is, I said this last week, I think, there is a parse connect roasters. Ooh, combo I saw. I did see that. Very exciting. Pack collab. Really cool. What do you know? Ian's part of both companies. Hmm, a little selfish know. of him. And they might have the John Boy tag on it as well, just to really throw the trifecta in there. All things Ian have. Tom, how are the posters coming? Well, we we had some conversations in, in our group chat about the posters, and then I, I didn't know, you know, we got to figure some stuff out. I, I had some questions about, I didn't know if you were joking in some of your texts. You kind of, you're, you're, you're tough to get a read on sometimes. So I didn't Me know. Me Ian. No, Ian. Oh, okay. Ian said something, and I was like, I don't know if this is a joke or not. And I, you know, I was like, I'm not going to. And you're I'll tell you this. Like, hey, is this a joke? You're just like, well, okay. Ian's never joking. Ian's straight arrow. Real give it to you straight kind of guy. Zach? How are you good with business if you don't 
answer your phone or have concrete answers. I don't get it. I don't know what you're talking about. Just because I didn't respond to your TikTok? It was you. <laughs> it was him on the TikTok? It was him, yes. <laughs> I didn't know I tried, that. I tried fluffing him up. It was a good fluff. No, no. He, he, Don't so try to come it. in now and say it's a good fluff. It's too late for you now. He You're done. It. He saw it. Honestly, usually, can I just say that I'm really good at responding to you guys in our group chat, I but was, not so much individually? I was just going to say, I was just going to say, Zach, you got to send in our group chat because then like I'll respond to you sending it and then he'll see multiple messages and he'll no, have no, different no, no, no. times to check it. Like if you send it just to him, like it's... It's at, dicey at, if you're getting anything back. At this point, it's the principal. I mean, it's you're not. I'm gonna, gonna start. I'm gonna back, start but... sending you some messages so that we can get our rapport back on our conversation. We I'm can, not we can start building it back up. I'm not answering. A bunch of crud. A bunch of crud. A bunch of crud. That's episode 85 of the Compound Podcast. See you next week with maybe a guest, maybe not a guest. Who knows? Go get maybe your Barstool pennies. Maybe played quarterback for the Bears. Maybe played outfield for the Tigers. We don't know. We don't know. Person. Wrong. Wrong.